for Dancer the last movie of the night. Let's give a big round of applause for Luca Pizzi. <laughs> Okay, I uh, took my Invisalign trays out, clocks, and let's go. Uh, before I get started, this is like accidental headliner. I just want to give a shout out to my classmates, Jason and Odden, who aren't going tonight. So, round of applause. Aww. So, uh, I'm 39, and uh, recently I was told I'm a young 39, so we fucked. Uh, I'm just kidding. Do that at an ICBC, that's illegal. <laughs> but it, it got me thinking, you know, like, uh, I like to take care of myself. Um, but it's kind of complicated. It's like a push pull. Maybe you can relate. It's like, I want to get to 100 and, like, still be hot, but, like, I want to die in the water wars early before it pops off. <laughs> um, just to, like, set the scene, I recently had to uh, clear a bunch of hard seltzers out of my fridge to make room for a sale on cauliflower, so, like, that's what we're working with here. Um, so, how did I get here? Uh, uh, I think you can have too many good habits, though. Um, there are some dudes out there that are like training for the well-being Olympics and <laughs> it's like gratitude journaling, index cards, active meditation, beet juice, like fucking slow down, there's no high score, when your morning routine starts to sound like an American psycho monologue, it's just like time to chill it out. But uh, I, I love this shit, I listen to a podcast called... Um, the Knowledge Project. It's really good. Uh, it's Canadian, not mutually exclusive. <laughs> and, uh, they always have some interesting guests, but like sometimes you will get someone on there that's just like vibing and kind of habit jerking with the host until it's like, so uh, how far do you leave your phone charging when you're in bed? Oh, I leave it in the basement. Yeah, basement guarded by a sphinx. Oh, awesome. Are you still doing forest baths? Yeah, do you see that study? Oh my God, my and longevity? Absolutely. Yeah, so three workouts a week. I do my action groundwork. I schedule four. I miss one. That's called yield failure. <laughs> The way I live, by the way. Yeah. And so, it was a great episode. Uh, uh, good habits are important. Sometimes you need a boost. Uh, I suffer from depression. You have to say that. You can't just say I have depression. I suffer from depression. Um, I am taking antidepressant medication. But like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, since I'm doing comedy, that's what we call a tautology. <laughs> That's a ten dollar word for like, nah, we got it, dude. <laughs> the name of the drug I'm on is Wellbutrin. And uh, Wellbutrin is notable because out of like hundreds of antidepressant drugs, it is the one that does not murder your dick. <laughs> Ask for it by name. I did. That's how mental health is supposed to work. And, uh... Yeah, well, Butrin was originally marketed as the happy, horny, skinny pill. Which is really catchy. <laughs> I guess the thinking is that they can't be depressed while you're fucking, but I am out to prove them wrong. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually, it's illegal to market an antidepressant that way, so they were sued in 2014 by Flintstone's Chewable Cialis. <laughs> yeah. um, more fun facts. It is the 18th most prescribed medication in the US. That's just after a rewatch of the extended Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> Second movie reference. Um, 28 million people are taking this in the US. We have no idea how it works. Like we know what it does. We don't know why it does. Which is really weird because science made this thing and it's been like 40 years. So like imagine going to buy a car and they're like, well, the gas goes in there and uh, just don't, don't touch anything. Uh, but if you have any hallucinations or seizures, just spin back to the dealership. We'll put you in something designer, you know? Uh, there are side effects. Um, there are side effects. I have been uh, trying to learn about them on the subreddit for this thing. There's <laughs> a lot of conflicting information out there. Like, surprised, a subreddit full of depressed people is anxious. <laughs> it 
it's like two different stories. It's either the like my 12 minute journey on 300 milligrams XL or like <laughs> I've been taking 150 for six months and uh, today I forgot to put out the garbage bins. Uh, does this ever change? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to all these people. <laughs> Good luck to me. Uh, yeah, um, I have some bad habits too. Uh, my worst, well, one of my worst is uh, YouTube. I watch a shitload of YouTube. Um, YouTube is just a really degrading experience, top to bottom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Absolutely. Uh, one of the worst parts for me, I think, is just the watch it again category. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's just a list of videos YouTube knows you've seen already. And like on paper, I'm not gonna watch that again. I, I'm on a literal discovery engine. Why would I do that? But uh, in practice, like I'm, I'm gonna click that thing. <laughs> you know, 37 minute wasp removal fucking movie. <laughs> Maybe it changed, you know? Like, I, got, I don't know. Um, YouTube videos don't change. Uh, only the rest of your life does. So. Um, what else about YouTube? The algorithm, I think, is the worst part. Um, the YouTube algorithm is a game called Six Degrees of Jordan Peterson. <laughs> Canadian bad boy Jordan Peterson. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you're lucky, you know, go use the bathroom. This probably isn't going to really land, but uh, uh, that guy haunts the fucking place. <laughs> you might say, Luca, that's just your algorithm. And, uh, I will slip out the back and not respond, but um, it's like everywhere you go, there he is. Uh, you watch a 10 minute video on like falling asleep to white noise. <laughs> and it's like, you know, for a man to go to bed properly, uh, he's gonna go back to the womb, starting with his ears, you know? <laughs> Just, uh, trust me, that was like a banger impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I finally got sick of this shit. I'm like new profile, yeah. new algorithm, just throwing out the bottles, like starting fresh, you know? Uh, only positive rabbit holes. And um, positive rabbit hole, like third movie reference. Imagine the first Matrix, they like go up to Neo's door and she's got like the tattoo and everything and he's just like, no, I think I'm good. I'm gonna draw a bath and stay home. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the end of that. <laughs> they say, uh, they say to write what you know, and for me, that's the Matrix and Baths. So. <laughs> uh, so I, I fed this new algorithm like TED Talks and animal videos for like three days, <laughs> and uh, I shit you not, I open up the app. Jordan Peterson <laughs> telling me why a man shouldn't jerk off. Um, and I hope that by now you've learned I'm not the type of person to take advice from Jordan Peterson. It's a very defiant day. Uh, <laughs> that's all I've got. Thank you so much.